Agnes of Bohemia was the only child of King Wenceslaus II of Bohemia by his second wife, Elizabeth Trecheza of Poland. She was a member of the Parimisla dynasty. Her father's previous marriage to Judith of Habsburg had produced four surviving children, Wenceslaus III of Bohemia, Anna of Bohemia, Elizabeth of Bohemia and Margaret of Bohemia. Wenceslaus II died in 1305, and his heir Wenceslaus III was assassinated one year later, in Olomic, on his way to Poland. Agnes's mother, Elizabeth, subsequently married Rudolf III, son of Albert of Habsburg on 16 October 1306. Rudolf was chosen to be king of Bohemia by part of Czech nobility and Elizabeth remained queen for a short time. Rudolf died for July 1307 of dysentery after becoming ill during the siege of the fortress of one of revolting noblemen, Bava III of Strakonese. In his last will, Rudolf acknowledged Elizabeth's dowry towns, and entailed her a huge amount of money. Elizabeth arranged for Agnes, to marry Henry I of Jaw. The wedding took place in 1316, however, because the two were related in the fourth degree of kinship. A papal dispensation was required. It was granted in 1325. Agnes's brother-in-law, King John of Bohemia opposed the marriage, which would make Henry a powerful rival, along with Berlisa or III the Generous, the husband of Margaret of Bohemia, a half-sister of Agnes. Shortly after the wedding, and, with the consent of Elizabeth, Henry I went with his troops to her diary town. Radicare tilde inverted exclamation point lovia tilde copyright in North Bohemia, where he organized expeditions to support rebels against King John of Bohemia. Agnes had only one pregnancy which ended in a miscarriage, in the first trimester, when she rode with her horse over a hill. This accident kept her in bed for many months. Agnes died in 1337, only two years after her mother and nine years before her husband.